our learning targets for today, 5.3H and 5.3K, I can use objects and models to represent and solve subtraction of fractions. So let's review what we now know. Yesterday, we began um, addition of mixed numbers. We're going to review that today by starting with this problem. So we have two and two six plus one and five six. What do you think that we do? Okay, I'm gonna start with the fractional parts. So I have two plus five, which gives me seven. My denominator stays the same. Two plus one is three. But I have an improper fraction here. What do I need to do with that? I think I wanna use a pictorial model to help me out. So I have two and two six. So I have one, two for my whole number. And I have two six for my fractional part. I have one and five six. So I have one here for my whole number. And I have five, six for my fractional part. So one, two, three, four, five. Six plus five, six, and I got seven, um, six. So I wanna do the same thing. So I added up my fractional parts first, which gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I added up my whole numbers next. So I have one, two, three. But I'm looking at this and I can possibly do something with the six, six here, okay? And if you look at your fraction strips that we did the other day, you can see that six, six is equivalent to one whole. So I think that I'm gonna go ahead and trade in those six, six for one whole. And when I do that, my improper fraction has changed magically to one and one sixth, okay? So we renamed that fraction. We renamed that improper fraction as a mixed number. So my original question, if you've forgotten, was two and two six plus one and five six. When we added it together, we came up with three and seven six. I just traded in that seven six for this improper fraction of one and one six. What do I do now? Am I done? No, because this is not my answer. I actually need to add the renamed fraction with that whole number, okay? So don't forget about that three over there, okay? So I'm gonna add one, two, three, and I'm gonna add it now with this new whole number, that one, and I have one six left over. So when you add it up, you should get four and one six, okay? Very good. 